Hello, I'll try to show you how to import products from almost any dropship supplier providing XML feeds using the generic XML importer module. I'll start with a clean PrestaShop installation and switch to the admin panel. And go under modules and as I've already uploaded our module, it's under migration tools. I'll click install and it's installed. Next, I want to add a few categories. We'll be importing from a jewel supplier, so the first category will, will be jewels. So I also want to add another one and I'll call it for example rings. And save it. Hello, I'll try to show you how to import products from almost any dropship supplier providing XML feeds using the generic XML importer module. I'll start with a clean PrestaShop installation and switch to the admin panel and go under modules and as I've already uploaded our module, it's under migration tools. I'll click install and it's installed. Next, I want to add a few categories. We'll be importing from a jewel supplier, so the first category will, will be jewels. So I also want to add another one and I'll call it for example rings and save it. Next I want to add a supplier. In our case add new it will be jewel supplier enable it and save next i'll switch to tools tab and click generic xml import and now i see a wizard for the first step i need to select the supplier so as I already added jewel supplier, I'll select it and click next. Now in step two, it will ask for the URL uh, to the XML feed provided by your dropship supplier and click next. Now the module has examined the XML and you can see on the left hand side the categories pulled from the XML, men's jewelry, earrings, rings, and fashion, and so on. What I need to do is to pair those categories with our, uh, our own categories we just created in our PrestaShop store. So I'll pick jewels for the first few ones. and continue with rings. So those are the categories into which our products will go. And click next. Now we'll do something similar with the products here for the step 4. At the right hand side you can see sample data from the XML feed provided by the dropship supplier. 
You got the item ID, SKU, inventory, product URL, name, description, images, categories, prices, and so on. What I need to do is to pair those fields here pulled from the XML with our own database structure. For example, for description short, I'll also pick description. And for quantity, we've got the inventory. So I'll pair them. And for price, we've got the retail price here. So I'll pick it. And for supplier reference, I'll pick SKU. For the image, I have here the image URL large. So I'll select it as well. And I won't select width or height or depth, but I'll select the weight because we have the weight pounds here. So I'll select it. And I'll click next. We're almost done. Now I'll click import products and sit back while the module imports the products and downloads the images. It may take a moment as it will process a hundred products. This is the free version and it will process only the uh, first hundred products, but the premium has no limits. Hmm. It says it's done. So let's return back to the front end and see if it's true. We've got now the jewels and rinse categories. I click one of them and I see the newly imported products here. And for the rings, that's the same. So we can see it imported everything. And that's pretty much all. Thanks for watching.